Porcelain is both a work of art and a necessity of daily life. With its popularity in daily uses and unique aesthetic function, porcelain can be seen everywhere in our daily life, from the tablewares at the One Belt, One Road Summit to the tea set that every household uses. China is the origin of porcelain, whose invention was a great contribution the Chinese nation made to the world civilization. In English, porcelain is also called China, which has the same spelling as China as a country. Their only difference is the former starts with the lowercase letter C, while the latter starts with the capital letter C. So it's safe to say that at least in the West, the exquisite Chinese porcelain has been viewed as the symbol for China. Porcelain is a ceramic material made by heating materials, generally including kaolin in a kiln to temperatures between 1280 and 1400 degrees Celsius. Porcelain generally has hard enamel and pleasing colors. Its colors arise mainly from vitrification and the formation of the mineral malite within the body at these high temperatures. In China, porcelain was developed from pottery. The earliest porcelain, also known as the primitive porcelain, appeared in China during the middle of Shang Dynasty, 16th century BC. Porcelain wares in the early days were mostly celadon. During Sui and Tang dynasties, single colored porcelain, like celadon porcelain and white porcelain, became the dominant genres. Chinese porcelain was at its apex during Song Dynasty, and Ru, Ge, Ding, Jun, and the official kilns had been the representatives of that age. Song Dynasty is famous for its single colored porcelain. Artisans could make ice crackles on the glaze and porcelain wares with changing colors. Two colors, as well as with blue and red glazes, mushroomed at that time. Jing Dezhen became the porcelain capital during Song Dynasty, thanks to its production of porcelain wares for the royal court. During the Yuan Dynasty, Jing Dezhen produced the famous blue and white porcelain, which was highly praised as the masterpiece of Chinese porcelain. Porcelain with white, glaze, and blue flowers of the Ming Dynasty and the decorative porcelain of Qing Dynasty were renowned for their catchy decorative patterns and elegant glazes, in which enamel porcelain and female rose porcelain were the most outstanding ones. China was firstly known to the outside world through its porcelain. It's through the ancient Silk Road that Chinese porcelain made its way to Europe. With a price even higher than gold, Chinese porcelain was cherished by Europeans as the white gold in the past. During the Ming and Qing dynasties, with the export destinations becoming more diverse, Chinese porcelain became the first globalized product. Starting from the 16th century, Europeans tried to make the porcelain of their own. Meanwhile, many foreigners came to Jing Dezhen, wishing to know the secret of making porcelain. Even so, China still managed to keep its status as the only country that could produce porcelain before the 18th century. Things changed thereafter. Now, every country can produce porcelain with its own style and characteristics. More than four centuries ago, porcelain connected China and the outside world through the ancient Silk Road. Today, the Belt and Road Initiative has ushered in a new era. With its relentless innovations, Chinese porcelain will continue to spread the beauty of the Chinese civilization to the rest of the world, and its role as the ambassador of cultural exchanges between China and the outside world will never fade away in the course of time.